Hey, so we're here with Ernesto Ruelas, who is uh, an ornithologist with the Action Center. And what are we going to be doing today? What we're going to do is follow uh, Trail 4. We're going to be looking for birds. So the way we do this work is that we follow the pre-open trails that Alvaro has worked on for several weeks. Yeah. And uh, we look for birds. We do this at a slow pace so we can detect as many as we can. What should we keep in mind while we're doing this? Like, be quiet? This is the most complex bird landscape that you can find in the world. So that takes a lot of work. First is to be aware that most of the birds that we'll be recording, we won't see. 80% of the birds we only listen to. <laughs> I have 7x42 binoculars who have great light. They're really good for working in the forest with them. I have a, a field guide to the birds of Peru, my notebook to take notes, an iPod with headphones, a tape recorder. This is uh, one model that a, a lot of the bird people really like. A unidirectional microphone with the handle. I do a lot of recordings primarily for learning. Mm -hmm. and, and then I go back to my reference collection to figure out what I'm hearing. Oh, that's great. Cool. I hope we find some birds. We have that piha there. Yeah, the one that makes a lot of noise. Yeah, the woohoo. Yeah. With wincho, they call them in Spanish. Yeah. With wincho. <laughs> what does that translate to? Nothing. To, it doesn't mean anything. It's nonsense. Just the call, yeah. It's like the most indicative, like rainforest bird noise. Yeah. Right here it is. So we have an advert back there. Does it just take practice to differentiate between like the insect noises and the bird noises? You get you are misled all the time. I mean, those, those telling insects from from birds seems like a dumb thing, but it happens often that you can't figure out what it is. Yeah. And um, and also mammals. Really? Uh, yes, yes. They, they some of them have bird-like calls. It's leaf cutter ants down there, Emily. Really? Yeah. It's a slug. That's cool. Oh, that guy's got a piece of toilet paper from camp. <laughs> Do not come. And they call it Tio Juan, Uncle Juan. Tio Juan, Juan, Juan. Where is it? White throated toucan. Wow. How beautiful. So what do you do with all of this new information? If you're seeing like different species, like crossing, you're hearing them in different forests, and, and does this immediately go into the new field guide or do you publish a new paper about distribution? I think the speed of change and the fact that many of the places in the Western Amazon haven't been explored that deeply makes you run into these range extensions very often and it's yeah. not that you're discovering the greatest thing, it's just that the place has been overlooked in, in yeah. time. We can upload them in, in systems online like eBird where you can map your records in different places mm -hmm. and whenever the next edition of the Field Guide to the Birds of Peru comes out, then the, the maps will, re, will be redrawn. So I have a flycatcher and I have an ant bird, and I was trying to focus on the ant bird because the flycatcher I have recorded many times. It's somewhat common, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think I got a pretty bad recording of both. <laughs> <laughs> so when there's a, like a cacophony of sounds like this, I'm sure it can be more intense in other cases. How do you zero in on something in your recording? You can have longer microphones that are narrower. 
mm -hmm. that narrow down the uh, the angle of what you're recording and that helps a lot but uh, for the most part you can't really do much if there is competing voices in the same spot when you have a flock of ant birds uh, following a swarm of army ants yeah. you, you, you hear multiple voices and there is a lot of excitement and it's very difficult to get a recording of a single species unless it's the only one following the ants which is really rare well we've been out for a little over an hour mm -hmm. I am incredibly sweaty um, and what what what's the conclusion what did we see today on this walk about an hour and 15 minutes we probably heard uh, 20 25 species really and we saw like two yeah I saw one dove fly over really quickly and yeah. you saw a toucan I saw a toucan so what I've learned about bird watching is it's more about the other things that you see while you are trying to listen for birds right they should call it bird listening not bird watching in this case yes you're totally right <laughs> cool It still has brains on it.